In this video, I'm going to show you how to install or actually reinstall the factory image of Android on your Samsung Galaxy Nexus phone after you've played around a bit with Ubuntu for phones and tablets. So let's get to it. Now, Ubuntu for phones and tablets at the time of filming this video is pretty much for developers only. Some people would consider it an alpha build. So it's fun to mess around with, and I really do like the user interface on the operating system. Unfortunately, it's just not quite ready to be used on a daily basis. So I'm gonna revert back to a factory image of Android on my Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Now, if you look in the description down below this video, you'll see two links to two different websites. One of which is the Google Developers website. And that's where you're actually gonna find the factory image for your device. So I'm just going to scroll down here to the factory image for my device. And it's this one right here. Takju for Galaxy Nexus. Now there's three options here. You have Android 4.0.4, Android 4.1.2, or Android 4.2.2. I want to put the most recent version of Android on here, which is Android 4.2.2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the link here and download it. Now it's a 257 megabyte file, so it's going to take a minute or so to download that. So while that's happening, I'm going to go to the second website. And again, I will include the link to this website in the description down below. This site is omgubuntu.co.uk. And this basically outlines the process of reinstalling Android on your Galaxy Nexus phone after messing around with Ubuntu. And it's actually a really simple process. So there's two ways to start this off. You can have Ubuntu on your phone up and running, which is the way I'm gonna do it. Or you can load your device into your bootloader. And in order to do that, what you wanna do is hold down the up and down volume keys on your phone and press the power button at the same time. But that's not the way I'm gonna do it in this video. So I'm going to plug my phone in to my laptop here. Now you can't actually do this with a Windows PC. I'm doing it with my Ubuntu laptop. And that's because I turned this phone into an Ubuntu phone with this laptop. I might as well bring it back to Android with the same laptop. So it looks like the file is downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my home folder and then I'm going to go into downloads. And this is the file that I downloaded here. Now the way they describe it on the OMG Ubuntu site is you want to take this file and drag it onto your desktop. So now we can get rid of the downloads here. And you want to extract this. There we go. So now you should have your appropriate version of Android in this file here. Now, let me just go back to the Google Developer site, you definitely want to make sure that you're downloading the correct version of Android for your device. You don't want to download Android for the Nexus 7 for your Galaxy Nexus. You want to make sure that the device that you have corresponds with the version of Android that you're downloading. Again, I have to stress that. And the way we're going to reinstall Android onto this phone is basically a clean install. So if you have anything on your phone that you want to keep, now's the time to get it off. Because putting Android back on the phone is going to delete everything on the phone. So the next step in this process is go into the terminal. And what you want to type in here is listed on the website here, which is adb space reboot dash bootloader. And as you can see, the phone is now in the bootloader. You have the prone Android here. 
So the next step in this process, you're going to need to know the name. Let's move this to the side. You're going to need to know the name of your folder here that you extracted your factory image onto your desktop. Mine is takchu-jdq39. So we're going to go back to the terminal here and we're going to type cd space desktop slash the name of the folder takju-jdq39 and then hit enter. Then what you want to do is you want to type in sudo space dot slash flash dash all dot sh and then it's asking for my password and here we go as you can see some stuff is going on on the phone right now and it's working its way through reinstalling Android on the device here. Now this process is probably going to take several minutes so through the magic of editing I'll edit that out or speed it up depending on how fast it takes and we'll see the outcome of it in a couple of minutes. So there we go you can probably see on the phone the Nexus splash screen and there we go Android back on the phone. As you can see here, you have the characteristic welcome screen. Let me just walk through this really quick to get Android back up and running. So there we go. I went through the sign-up process on the phone and Android back in business. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.